Hey everyone, I'm Albert Boris. So, Wave 2 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course DLC Pass. It's coming. We don't know when, but it's coming, sooner or later. The first wave was released all the way back in March, and in total, there will be 6 waves released by the end of 2023. So from this information, I think it would be safe to assume that each of the waves are to be released every third month. And well, it's been 3 months now since March. Not only that, but we're in the middle of July, and the first wave was also released in the middle of March. So I think we'll be seeing 8 new tracks in the game by the 15th of July. But before that, I'm gonna make some course predictions for this wave. Now yes, I did already make predictions for all the remaining courses way back in April, but I'd prefer we don't talk about it. I didn't really put any thought into when and where I put the tracks, and it was all based on feelings. It was awful, don't watch it. So I'm doing an updated video, but exclusively on Wave 2, because I mean like, let's be real, it's Wave 2 everyone wants to hear about now. And not to mention, I will have more time to talk about the tracks within Wave 2 now, since I don't have to cover 36 different courses now. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started! For starters, it's safe to assume that this wave is gonna contain a lot of summer-themed courses. After all, we're in the middle of summer, and if the waves are gonna be released the way I think, we will see Wave 2 this month. Not only that, but the first wave, which was released in springtime, also did have a fair share of spring-themed tracks. It may not seem obvious at first, but both Paris Promenade and Tokyo Blur felt like early spring in its use of colors and setting. So we're gonna follow tradition. Another thing to note is that the courses in the Cups of Wave 1 were loosely based around the country and the emblem of their cup. The Golden Mushroom Cup, whose emblem is a food, was obviously food-themed. Paris is known for its cuisine, Coconut Mall is a food mall, Chaco Mountain is food, and Toad Circuit is based on toads, a mushroom. I'm not saying toads are food, but you get my point. And yes, I know toads are not toads, but that's besides the point. And likewise, the Lucky Cat Cup's emblem is a traditional Japanese ornament, and two of the tracks are even centered around Japan specifically. So that's what we'll have to consider for in Wave 2. First up is the Turnip Cup. Obviously, it's gonna start off with a city course, as seen in the previous cups. The question is which? Thematically, Amsterdam Drift would make the most sense, since it is themed around the fields on which you can grow turnips. However, it's neither traditionally summer themed, nor does it got free variants in Mario Kart Tour yet. Tokyo Blur and Paris Promenade both already had free variants in Mario Kart Tour by the time they were brought back to this DLC. So I'm gonna go safe and pick those types of tracks, since Nintendo wouldn't really want to spoil the remaining city tracks before they're even released in Tour, I hope. That leaves us New York Minute, London Loop, and Los Angeles Laps. All very good courses. I'm gonna pick London Loop. This is one of my biggest guilty pleasures of a Mario Kart course. Thematically, it would suit the Rock Cup of the Winter Wave just fine as well since the music is very rocky, if you get what I mean, and the atmosphere is a bit cold. However, it's also the closest to Amsterdam of the three courses since it's European, and that way I could still try to make this cup thematically similar to its emblem. Okay, maybe you guys in America also grow turnips, but I always associated it more with the Netherlands, and the UK is the closest country of the free tracks that are possible. Or maybe I'm just overanalyzing it. But hey, I also love this course in Mario Kart Tour, so I would love to see this course either way return. The remaining three courses of this cup are obviously gonna be from the real Mario Kart games, and most likely either themed after summer, or at the very least not winter themed. And so for these next few courses, I'm picking SNES Kuva Beach, DS Waluigi Pinball, and GCN Daisy Cruiser. We haven't seen any SNES or GameCube courses in this DLC yet, so I think it's likely we're gonna see both of those types in the next cup already. They may not have much to do with turnips, but I don't think we have to be super specific either way. I mean, Sky Garden isn't stereotypically Japanese-themed either, despite being in the Lucky Cat Cup. And either way, Koopa Beach and Daisy Cruiser scream summer vacation with the seaside aesthetic. Also, notice I didn't state a number after Koopa Beach. That's because I think it would be cool if they could somehow combine the two Koopa Beach variants into a single track, like they did with Tour City Courses. It's certainly a possibility I'm hoping for, even if it might be a little more difficult to implement. Anyways, the next track I have is Waluigi Pinball. 
I don't have a particular reason for predicting this course in Wave 2. It's more about the fact that people love it so much it's insane to someone like me who just finds it okay. But the fact that it is so loved would make it a wise choice to include it early on in the DLC, since it would obviously bring more people to buy the pack. I guess you could also kind of make the argument of people gambling on pinball machines in the summer to have money to buy themselves a vacation abroad? I don't know. And that's my turnip cup predictions. Not the most thematically accurate cup perhaps, but it's the best I could do with what I had. It's gonna be a little easier in that regard with the propeller cup, based around the propeller mushroom. So, which city track should we have here? We have two more free variant courses, and both are based in America. And both would fit this cup just fine, since the propeller mushroom as an idea itself is kind of ridiculous. Just like American politics. <laughs> Jokes aside, Los Angeles Laps is my choice. As a beach-themed course in the sunset, it just fits the summer wave much more appropriately than New York Minute. Which pains me to say since, New York Minute was the first city track to ever be released in tour, and it's still not out in 8 Deluxe. But hey, it's night-themed, it may suit the Moon Cup way better in that regard. But we won't talk about that yet. Now, we have both of the city tracks out of the way. The two most underrated city tracks at that, in my opinion. Yeah, for some reason people don't really like London Loop or Los Angeles Laps, even though I think they're some of the better city tracks out there. With all that being said though, I do believe that the Propeller Cup could be more thematically accurate to its cup emblem than the Turnip Cup, since there's more potential for it this time around, and we Mushroom Gorge would be an example of why. Maybe not the most stereotypically summer track of all time, but hey, it's definitely not winter themed. And would you look at that, the cup emblem is a mushroom as well. Yeah, you get my point. Honestly, the Wii courses in this series are some of my favorites of the bunch, so I innerly hope that they will prioritize courses from this game over the other entries. And Mushroom Gorge has always been one of the coolest tracks from this game, with the bouncing mushrooms and so on. A slightly more fitting course for this cup would be GBA Sunset Wilds. Unlike Mushroom Gorge, this one is definitely summer themed, with the scorching desert. Not only that, but like Los Angeles Laps, it's also based on the United States, Arizona in particular, and coincidentally, both are located in western United States. Honestly, at this point, there are just way too many things pointing towards its inclusion in this wave. I would honestly be surprised if this course doesn't make it to wave 2. And besides, it's already in Mario Kart Tour, so they have the assets ready. Plus, it is an amazing course as it is, without the time of the day changes every lap. And lastly, we get to the final course of Wave 2. What should it be? It could be any of them, assuming it doesn't feel out of place in this wave. I won't predict a course from a game I've already picked one from, for the sake of variety, so it's gonna be a 3DS or N64 course. So, I'm gonna pick... N64 DK's Jungle Adventure. This would be a nice way to end the first summer wave of the DLC pack. Being set in a jungle, you could assume the temperature is well above 30 degrees Celsius, which is common for the summer. Even up here in ice-cold Sweden, we boil at least one week per year. I could only assume the same can be said for this course, and even excluding that, it's got a pretty laid-back vibe and isn't too difficult, which could be essential for a wave as early as the second one. Or not, considering Ninja Hideaway, but who knows. And overall, those were my predictions for Wave 2 of the Mark Art 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. And here, my friends, are my predictions. They are far more likely than Albert's predictions. What the f*** are you doing here, Virtual Oris? Nobody cares about your predictions. Hey, your predictions are awful. The turnip cup should be more thematically accurate than that. But I'm not surprised by your results. After all, you only made this video because you're a slimy clickbaiter. And that, my dear friends, was everything my evil twin brother wanted to say. I think. But yeah, what are your predictions for Wave 2? If you liked this video then please like, share and subscribe to my channel as I talk about everything Mario related on my channel. With that being said, I'm signing off.